Hello everybody and welcome to another video. As I said last video, we're doing something else today and by that I mean another Blender tutorial, in which we will learn to model caves. We've seen you really appreciated the last terrain tutorial, so we're back with another one and I hope this will be helpful. First, let's delete the camera and the light, but keep the cube, we're gonna need it. Now, select one of the faces and press E to extrude it. Then rotate it. We will use this to create the base form of our caves, tunnels. Try to rotate the faces in random positions so it will feel like a real cave once it's done. For now, just repeat this process for a while until you're satisfied with the length. You can also try to make different branches to the cave. If you want to unite two branches back, delete one of the faces and then select the edges you want to unite. Now, press F3 on your keyboard and search bridge. This tool will do exactly that, it will unite at the edges you selected. Now let's continue with the process. Now with the shape mostly done, let's make the entrances to our cave by deleting two of the faces. Right now our cave walls are only visible from the outside, so we need to go to Mesh, Normals, and then Flip. Now our cave will be visible from the inside. Next. We need to add the subdivision modifier and up the viewport to 3 or more to make the walls more detailed. And now to give it that tunnel look, press R on your model and then make a cut in it. Next, select the edges you created and drag them down. And as you remember from the last tutorial, we need to add a displacement modifier. So now go to add modifiers and choose displace. Next go to texture and change it to stucci. It might look a bit stupid at first, but after we change the size a bit, you'll see the wanted results. And in, in this case, 1.5 is just fine. Now, if we go back to modifiers and change the strength, strength, you see we can displace the terrain even more. Change it to suit your needs. Finally, the cave is almost done and you can even choose your art style. You can right click and shade smooth to make it look more realistic. Or you can add a decimate modifier, select triangulate and down the ratio a bit to get a low poly look. At last, we just need to add the materials to our cave, and for that, just make create a new material and select a grayish color for our cave, and do make sure to set the roughness to one. This is it for our tutorial. Hopefully, it was helpful, and do tell us in the comments if your models turned out okay. See you next time.